Hi everyone, hope you're all well and keeping safe. Uh, just a quick video. Um, today I passed my uh, UK full amateur radio license exam, passed it this morning, it was at 9.30. Uh, so obviously I'm very happy. Um, I started studying for it, I think it was late summer, so it's been a few months. And it's been a lot of hard work. Uh, and in comparison to what my experience of the foundation license and the intermediate license, it's as you would expect been a lot a lot more difficult um i took the foundation license in 20 october 2017 uh and i found that very easy and i took the um the intermediate license last july and i found that pretty straightforward um the the full license exam is a different beast entirely um and whilst it's interesting news for me that i've passed not necessarily so interesting for you the purpose of this video really is to kind of just explain my strategy for studying this exam and passing it and in the hope that others might find it useful um when i did the foundation license i think i only got one question wrong and when i did the intermediate license i think i got something like 41 or 42 out of 45 something like that i think it was 45. um this exam i got 47 correct out of 58 so just over 80 percent which is brilliant um because i won't lie i i thought there was a good chance i would pass but it was by no means sort of a certainty uh, i thought i could get lucky and do well but at the same time i thought well if i'm unlucky with some of the questions uh you know i might you know i might struggle a little bit but um in the end it, it turned out well so uh and i'm very pleased and so my strategy really for doing this is really is really the thing i want to share with you guys so um i when i passed the intermediate license uh, some a kind person at harwell gave me the manual for the full license but it was the old syllabus so i, I bought um the up-to-date manual from the rsgb for like a, i think it was 10 quid or something because i'm a member and and basically read it from cover to cover but i took several weeks to do it because you unless you are unless you've been involved in electronics your whole life and radio um it's, it's going to take a lot of studying to uh, to do well in this exam. So anyway, I read the manual uh, from cover to cover. It took several weeks. Uh, a lot of uh, technical uh, concepts to deal with. Tr um, receiver architecture, transmitter architecture, electronics, uh, transistor biasing, um, EMC, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I, it took weeks to, to read the book and try to sort of take some of it in. I then read the book again and I made my own notes on the examinable parts of it. Now, if you buy a copy of that manual, you'll see that there's a mortarboard kind of icon next to every section that's, that's potentially examinable. So you don't have to remember everything in the book. The book's 100, just over 100 pages. But you probably, you've probably got to commit about half of it to memory, I would say, approximately. So uh, I used a method of study uh, when I was at uni, which was basically if I'm learning from a textbook, I basically rewrite the textbook myself in my own words. And that helps, one, to commit information to memory, and two, it helps understanding. So I did that with the full license, just for the parts that were examinable, and that took several weeks. And I've got, I haven't got the manual here, actually, because I've already posted it to another club member who's, in, who's just got his intermediate and wants to start studying for the full, and he ordered the manual, and it hasn't arrived after a couple of weeks. I've just literally put it in the post to him. But these are the notes that I wrote. So this, these are my own notes for the examinable parts of the manual. And as you can see, it's a lot of work. You can see why this took weeks. It basically, I wrote it on an A4 graph pad. I think it was, it, it was two graph pads or maybe more of notes, a lot. But that helped me to start remembering some of the concepts, but it, and it also um, helped me to start sort of understanding uh, some of those concepts as well. Um, in the in the middle of that process, Anne, um, who's the secretary of HARS, uh, G-A-N-V-I, she said to me that she'd been talking to another guy who'd just passed his full license and he had been watching a YouTube channel. This is the Cornish Radio Amateur Club. They've got a YouTube channel and on that channel they've got three sets of training videos for foundation, intermediate and full license uh, study. And she recommended that I watch those videos. And these videos cover everything from e EMF, transistor biasing, electronics, semiconductors, receiver, tran uh, transceiver architecture, EMF, um, EMC, the, the whole shooting match. So I started watching those videos and they are amazing. 
and she was absolutely right that I watched those the, the entire set of videos for the full training course several times and in doing so all of these sort of com complex sort of concepts with regard to you know radio architecture um, you know mixing into IF and uh, all the various types of demodulator and how the AGC line um, works back to the biasing of the uh, of, of the of the transistor in um, in the IF all that kind of stuff started to make sense so after several spending several weeks watching those videos I then read the book again and all of a sudden everything started becoming much clearer uh, and then I then read the book a couple couple more times and then leading up to the exam which was this morning I started writing more notes but a, a much more condensed version of this so effectively taking entire chapters and just writing you know headings with just sort of buzzwords just to remind me of uh, of, of what that concept would be because in the end it didn't become a, a, an issue of understanding it became a, an issue of just remembering what they were you know which which concepts you know were part of transmitter interference and which concepts were part of general general sort of EMC etc etc and uh, and then obviously last night started to feel a bit nervous about taking the exam but every time I read the book I felt better again and then if I wasn't reading it I started sort of feeling a bit nervous but then took the exam this morning and uh, and passed so I'm really happy so anyway the purpose of this video really is to kind of share with you my strategy for passing the exam and I hope it helps anyone else uh, who's considering doing it um, and you know uh, I feel obviously very happy today because that's my radio training over started in October 2017 and finished in December 2020 so just over three years and it's all done um, and anyone else that's preparing for any of these examinations I wish you the best of luck um, leave comments on the channel uh, if anybody yeah what, has any particular questions they want to ask me regarding studying for the full license obviously I'll be very happy to help so uh, feel free uh, and now I'm going to record my weekend update video as usual. So um, uh, it's the studying actually is why there haven't been too many uploads on the channel this week. I've been focusing on um, uh, on passing this exam. So uh, very happy. So anyway, I hope that was useful. Uh, keep safe, everybody. And keep on the radio if you're at home. Don't go crazy. And um, no doubt I'll talk to some of you uh, via the comments on the, on the channel in the coming days. But other than that, have a great weekend and 73.